Hello Hello there. there. Kyle Katarn here. And the Bendu. Coming back for another reaction series to The Bad Batch Season 2. That's right. The long awaited Season 2. This has been very anticipated. Yes, exactly. There's, there's, I mean, last time, what was great about this series was the world building and the really, the new emphasis on uh, Imperial key codes. And there was a lot of things that were introduced to this series that we kind of got to see more of in other different series. So I'm really happy and excited to see what this new season will bring, but also what it will build off of from the previous one. Stuff like, uh, like the chain codes. It's cool because it came in the Mandalorian first. That's where we first heard about it with Grogu. And now they're like going back and filling in the blank and we're seeing how it was first put into place. It's like a fascinating little piece of like micro history within the rise of the Empire. Uh, Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Imperial blockade. Um, Because of copyright and everything like that, we're only able to show 10 minutes of actual footage here on YouTube. So if you want to check out the full length uncut version of this reaction, it's available on our Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. You get full-length reactions, uh, voting content, polls, and a couple of other cool perks as well. Um, so, last time on The Bad Batch, Crosshairs said fuck it and decided to stay with the Empire. Dude, not only that, but he was left in the middle of the of like the Kaminoan Ocean. Like, Yeah, he's in the, the floating no walkie ruins. Talkie, no cell phone. Wreckage. Like... Yeah, he's just... Uh, how are they going to find him? <laughs> standing there in the middle of nothing, like, after they just based Delta Zero the entire, like... Oh, he's got a, he's got a comm link on his... Yeah. In somewhere so, in his suit. He'll just, he'll just radio up to the Star Destroyer and be like, You missed me. Come yeah. pick me up. <laughs> you dicks. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was something that we talked about on the podcast, that it's very rare that we actually get a villain who doubled down on their villainhood. By choice, by choice, yeah. wasn't forced into it, you know. Yeah, it's unique. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing just how deep into like the darkness of this time period we're gonna go. Like the tonal, the tonal shift from the first episode to the last episode of season one was like crazy. It got so heavy. So like, I'm a little bit nervous where, what the story's gonna do for these for these poor characters next. Um, well, but I can't, do- I can't forget that we ended on Mount Tantis. On Wayland, yeah, from fucking heir to the heir to the empire, dude. Uh, we I'm we true. need, and I'm yeah. sure we're only gonna get like one more scene of that this season. Like it's such a little like a little tease. From the little teasers that we were able to get from that they've posted on on various Twitters and, and Instagrams from the, like Star Wars channels. I mean, um, it's like we know that there's gonna be a little snippet of Palpatine, so we know that we're gonna get to see the good Emperor's face this time around. Which after it's probably going to be Ian McDermott again because he yeah. said that he wants to voice the Emperor. Because like, after Andor, so. all we got, all we got from Andor was just a couple name drops and like you know, just he was kind of this haunting figure in the background. And then in Kenobi, we got him as a little hologram. So it'll be great to kind of see good old Alps, good old Shiv on the screen again. I'm looking forward to seeing him, but I'm also hoping that he's used correctly. Yes, you don't necessarily like you know, Andor proved minimal. you don't need Palpatine to tell a story set in his universe like it's like if every single so world war ii movie had to have like a cameo of hitler like hitler it's himself had to shadow. be physically present yeah like sometimes just his presence looms in the galaxy and that's kind of like the power of the sith you know but i'm excited to see him and the whole imperial senate too because that's what we saw in that little tease right yeah there's gonna be yeah there's gonna be a lot of stuff i'm curious what the b1 droids are doing that we've seen in the trailers do you have any predictions before we get started here I have none. Things that you think are going to go down? None predictions. I'm going in this okay. completely open-minded and open okay. palated. I know we talked that's about... That's very Bendu-like before. of you. So here's one thing, though. That's just sort of like a horror like a horror movie sort of thing that could happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Because we were talking earlier about... You believe someone's going to die. Do you think yes. that we're going to lose main cast? We're going to drop some bodies this season. Do you think we're going to be losing like main cast members or like secondary cast members like Commander Cody? I think we're definitely going to lose some secondary cast members, but I think we might lose one of the batch. Oof. We might lose one of the batch. If we do, my money would be on Echo, purely because Echo has been through the most. We've That'd known so him the up. longest. They'd be He's... so fucked up to kill Echo after everything. After every... through, exactly. Man. Exactly. Right. Echo no. didn't die on Obroa Sky. Echo's not going to die ever. 
Maybe. He's going to outlive kicks somehow. Like, <laughs> fucking just you watch. Filoni uh, will not let him die. <laughs> something, something horrific. Something horrific that the Empire could do in their, like, you know, process of phasing out clones. They could do a sort of, like, rundown of looking to see where all the retired clones went. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they could do a search of, like, all right, well, who knows what? And I feel like... Worst case scenario, we're going to see the Empire roll up on that farm with that one clone trooper whose name I'm forgetting, who has the really cute... Oh, Cut Laquain? Yeah, dude. If we see his him get killed, if we see his family get, like, just... Oh, like, I didn't even think of that. Right? That could happen. That could happen. Uh, I think we will see Cut Laquain again, but I don't think it's going to be in that dark of a circumstance. Yeah. I think, and other people have been saying this too, we're going to see the inklings of the clone rebellion... It didn't happen on Camino. Everyone was saying it was going to happen on Camino, but Taboka City is gone now, so it's not going to be like in the Battlefront story. But we will get an uprising <laughs> of clones, and Cut Laquain will fight in it. Um, Gregor and Rex, Bad Batch, a lot of clones are going to die. Hauser's probably going to die. A lot of clones, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Cody might end up like seeing the light and sacrificing himself in the Clone Rebellion to save like Rex or something like that. I don't know. That's my big like. Out Dude, there if prediction. He Rex, if he does it to say Rex, oh god, I was yeah, mortal, a, a former mortal enemy we dying in your Rex, arms. We do like, see the hologram of Rex in the trailer too. Fuck, because that would be so all I know is it's gonna more... hurt. Whatever they do, Dude. Rex and Cody, Dude, they have to meet. Be, they have to meet, right? That would be like, so much more emotional for Cody to sacrifice himself to save Rex or to like, maybe save Echo than it would be for him to save like a regular Bad Batch character. Because oh, well, of they, course. They that, that's what I'm saying. It has to be those two. But, that's what, that's the uh, relationship. Yeah. That's like the Clone Wars story isn't really like Anakin and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka. Like it is, but it's Rex and Cody and like the, th the crazy things that they experience as non-Jedi. And all of their friends, like Fives and everyone that they've lost along the way. Yeah, everyone who, everyone who didn't make it. Everyone, everyone. There's so many characters. Uh, well, I think we've now, like, we've achieved a nice somber tone with which to dive back into this. Are you ready? It's true. Episode one is indeed called The Spoils of War. So, oh, do it! Straight to the crabs. God, look at that water. I like how, like how the roots are all, like, together. It's like a mangrove, you know? Oh, no. They're like tropical mud crabs. I got the package, didn't I? Just keep moving. And we're back. God, look at these vistas, man. Aww. Oh, I thought she was totally fishing for Ooh, it's a V-Wing. She got a V-Wing on her schematics. Got the cargo. We could use some firepower. I love how colorful they are. Everything is super colorful. Ooh. How long before Star Wars Legion players start printing those guys? Dude, I love that they all have, like, custom colors on their armor now. Individualization. Oh, no. oh Jesus! You're really nice. gonna try to climb that wire. Sick. Damn, Pick him off. Too many crabs. Ah, oh, jeez. She pulled aggro. Now they're all after her. Nice. <laughs> Just firing it, she's lifted away. Oh my god. Look at her dangling! <laughs> I love her. It's an unscheduled study break. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, yeah, just ride the box up. There you go. Yeah, I love I love their unique colors. It's great. They're the furthest thing from clones, right? They're so individual. Yeah, they drop they drop the black in the the black and red color scheme. But try staying inside the ship next time. Aww. <laughs> I'll try. But it was still pretty fun. She's like a little bit bigger now, a little bit older. Gosh. I like her I like her outfit too. Space slugs decided to finally show up. Better late than dead. I always say. She's the most trustworthy pirate I know. Aren't clones supposed to look alike? So much for quality control. This one's too big. <laughs> this one's too small. Hey now, got a name, brown eyes. Tech, let's see those muscles in action. Grab that and follow me. 
Uh, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am. And, and just like that, they got another job. I, the I love the Macquarie prototype Boba helmet on the wall there. Through. Oh, the bright white? Yeah, dude. I love how everyone hits on tech for some reason. I know. <laughs> the nerd. That is Castle Sereno. The former Bro, Castle Oh, Castle oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh, dude. With him being dead, Dooku's, Dooku's entire war chest? That's what we're going Dooku after? Already started pillaging his palace. Oh, man. The abandoned castle. The abandoned castle of this Dooku? former mansion. I hope it's haunted. Sereno is Imperial occupied. We've stayed off the Empire's radar since Kamino. What chance Makes sense have? the Empire would leave a military presence there since it was like the home of one of the leaders of the opposition. It's only a matter of time before the Empire comes here. And then my little operation is over. Sid's been watching Andor. Pull off this heist, and you'll have the means to disappear. No more risky missions. No more living hand to mouth. Little Omega. Dude, I love their shuttle so fucking much. I know. It's the Havoc Marauder. I know why you agreed to this mission. But we can do better things with Dooku's fortune than hide, Hunter. We've seen what the Empire's doing throughout the galaxy. We should be doing more. Well said, Echo. I like how it's the, the 501st trooper who has that like strong sense of duty to yeah, the galaxy. Dude. You know, because dude, ironically enough, it was Anakin that put that in him. You know, he's just getting mind. Whoa! Out. What happened to it? Imperial orbital bombardment, same as on Camino. Jeez. Base Delta Zero on all the all the powerful worlds of the Separatist Empire. What is it? Mine? Hey, remember those those freighter ships? We saw one in Rebels. Yeah, yeah. Were they they had a massive about? fucking kyber crystal on board. Yeah. A corporal. There's over 40 troopers down there. Sounds like they've already secured most of it, if not all of it. Oh, that sound. And Omega was studying those in the beginning. She's gonna fly one of those, confirmed. <laughs> in position. The second transport's launching. Are those clones guarding it? Or TKs? I think they're clones. Let's go. No, those are straight up phase twos. I think it's a I think it might be a mix of both. Right? Like the armor? Like that's a that's a phase two clone right there. Like the helmet definitely is. The body armor looks TK. Right? It's like a weird in-between. It's like... But he's got a phase two bucket and he's using a DC-17. So this is what a war chase looks like. Damn! Ooh -hoo. That's a lot of gold. ching I'd say that qualifies as oh, high value. Cool. How could all of this belong is that to a one diamond? Person? It is safe to assume. Dude, Dooku just had straight jewels and gems. <laughs> Report. CT-8801, come in. Hunter, I think we're about to have some company. Find that trooper. Just pull a Han Solo answer for him. Everything's fine here. Situation normal. Oh! Let's speed this up. Reckon that one goes first. No, I was really nervous he was gonna get like grabbed as soon as he stepped out. Transport three, secure your cargo and prepare to launch. All squads return to the courtyard and hold the perimeter. Oh no. This captain's no fool. Oh, and they're trapped. Hunter, we're trapped in the container! We can't get out! On our way, I think they know something's up. We're done hiding anyway. Time to go loud. Oh shit, but if they launch, oh fuck, they're moving! Oh god, can you imagine just climbing hold of something that you know is gonna be in space in like five minutes? We gotta go! Go where? I don't have like a fear of heights or anything, but this would freak me the fuck out. Like, oh man! We'll get to the Marauder and recover you. It's gonna take a while. How can they see them? Oh, they just have an idea of where they are. 
Oh, well, that answers the question. Look at that. Glasses, though. This is such an iconic, like, Clone Wars location. Fuck the chair. Oh, that's a trap door. Pressure plate. I hope they find a wardrobe full of exquisite pajamas. Dude, what if they find his blue lightsaber and, like, they just com completely call back to Tales of the Jedi? I think his blue lightsaber is his red lightsaber, and he bled his own crystal. There are intruders aboard Transport 3. Release the escape pods. Fuck. Their only way Fuck. No. no! Now they're going to have to take control of the entire cargo thing and get all of that war chest. Which technically would still be great. This is a class 4 freighter, isn't it? Yes. Why? Containers on class 4 freighters are equipped with re-entry thrusters. We can escape in a cargo container. You are correct. I am impressed. However, the containers must be ejected. Before. Yep, so do it fast. Drop so we gotta know whichever container has the most, like, baller stuff in it and eject that one. I think it's the one they're holding. Well, they gotta get oh, back to the container. container. They're in, like, a random access hallway right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. leave the crate, no! Shit! Jeez, there's so many of them. Just finished like holding his head. Woo. Go boys. Go boys. Oh shit. They're releasing all of Oh, it's releasing all of them. Oh shit. I thought it was just gonna release the one they were in. Can the Marauder save them somehow? Wow, that was really wow. What? Wow. <laughs> Come on, <sighs> cliffhanger ending. Jesus. Damn you, Filoni. Damn you, Filoni. Uh, and we're back, dude. And the uh, bad match is back. That yeah. was a proper caper right there. Man. Oh man, dude. Um, that was super fun. That was super fun. What a cool like location cameo to get Dooku's. Little manor, his villa, dude, if you will, dude, on Serena with like the desk and the broken window behind it, like. And of course, this, of course, he's got a lift that goes right to his desk. Like he's cut out all the walking in his place. Like, well, it's either geriatric like... ass old man. He doesn't want to walk up some stairs to get to his office. He's gonna, you, you know, that lift goes right to his bathroom. It's too. either that. It's either that or that. Like his his uh, you know, escape route to his his panic room. That too. You know, that too. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this, this is giving me a whole new perspective of Dooku. Like, he's he's like Wallace and Gromit, you know? Like, he wakes up in the bed, and, like, the machine, like, puts his pants on, and then slides him down, and, like, butters some Oh, yeah, that's like, true. I, yeah, that's, that's Dooku. Cool. Everything's automated with his droid army doing everything for him. Or, <laughs> or he's like Scrooge McDuck, and he just has a giant room filled with gold bars, gold nuggets, and jewels, and he just does a That's true. Drive. Um... Still that's actually a really good point. The, like the, the manor looked really empty and like barren and decrepit, but that's because all of his shit had been loaded into those cargo containers. Like it was all being hauled off. It's true. And I wonder what it looked like when he had it all in his house. I bet he had it like decadently, like displayed and arranged. I'm sure. And, like, yeah, I'm sure it looked stuff. very, very Thrawn y or Thrawn esque as you were. Very lavish would gallery. Yeah. Or it would totally look like um, dude who had the antiquities. Oh, Luthen. Luthen. Like Luthen's it, place. It would look like Luthen's place. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love that Marcus specifically said that it, they gave him the creeps. It's like, it's fucking better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was interesting that um, that Tech has Omega studying, like, everything in the Imperial. All like, the chips, like, yeah. they're, like, they're fully training her up to be a soldier, to be, like, a, a fighting part of the unit. Like, that's just, that's just the role that they want for her. Yeah, or at least know how to fly, know how to drive. She can at least be their, you know, their baby driver. She's exactly, like she's getting little... trained for all the all the adventure skills, which is interesting because, like, you think that they would make a point of like, you are a clone, but you have your own identity and can do whatever you want with your life. And she's like choosing to do what every other clone has done. Well, she's. I mean, rather than like, at the end of the day, the, 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 the Bad Batch you know? is still like her heroes. 
So it makes well, sure, sense that sure. she still wants to like be like her heroes and still be a contributing, you know, member to the galaxy, which I think is really, I think Echo is really going to like start to emphasize that point. And then Omega is start to like going to get on that, that page. And then both of them together are really going to, you know, hit the nail on the head for Hunter. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think it's, know. uh, it's really dark that, um, like finding out that like just the random residents of Sereno who may or may not have had anything to do with Dooku or the war, just got fucking glassed just for living on the other side of the hill to Dooku's, like, palace. Yeah. Like, God, the Empire. They don't care about anybody. Like, they'll just or they, lay yeah, down they waste wanna, on yeah, anyone. They just want to clean, you know, clean branches, snip those threads, just keep keep it keep it short. So my question is this, like, so the Death Star is already underway. The funding for the Death Star was secured a long time ago. What are the Imperials planning to do with Dooku's war chest? I mean, I'm sure... We know that all... their plan's been disrupted because most of it's, like, fucking falling from the sky right now, crushing God knows how many random, like, trees and animals and people down on the ground. That's true. But, like, that was only one of the cargo ships, and who knows how the many ships... Two, yeah, the other through, two already so, like, flew off. We saw the other yeah. So like, what yeah. what's the plan? You know, there's a plan. It's it's going to a specific thing, and I got to know what it is. I'm sure, it just goes to just like either a some big ass bank, you know, some some. Big you think it's just going somewhere. into Imperial Treasury? Exactly. Like... Yeah. Oh, totally. Oh, it's totally going. Yeah, into that makes sense. Treasury. That makes sense. Yeah, it's not like Palpatine would like go in there by himself, and be like, <laughs> "What did he have hidden? What can I?" Well, steal? no, but he. But he's gonna do that at some point. Like, it's all getting shipped to Coruscant to some big-ass warehouse so that he can go <laughs> at all this shit. Because in the Lando comics, which are canon, we know that he had, like, private yachts that were, like, just loaded to the gills with random artifacts and treasure sure. and trinkets and shit. Like, yeah. Palpatine was a collector of antiquities and art and stuff. Like, especially Sith stuff. That's true. But, like, you know that, like, Dooku is gonna have, like, some, some prime pieces. He definitely pieces. has some holocrons yeah. for some Ion tablets. Clone Wars. Yeah, he has some, he has some shit hidden around. Or I'm sure, like, he has some, like, you know, he still has all those top secret separatist documents or all those banking clan documents. Totally actually usable, like, movies. worthwhile stuff in there. For sure. Because also, like, Sidious has had Tyrannus as an apprentice for a long time and probably, like, had him over at his place in Sereno and, like, he was like, I really like his spoons. The spoon collection is excellent. And he had to wait 19 years after he dies, and he's like, finally, the spoons can be mine. Exactly, yeah. And he's in, he's in the warehouse just, like, rifling through, like, box after box after box, trying to fucking find them. Find empty <laughs> spoons in the shot glass collection. Yeah, yeah exactly. I want my Sereno spoons, goddammit. Uh, awesome. Well, the Bad Batch is officially back in action. I feel like we're just, like, immediately right back in an adventure. And this is great because the real hook of the season hasn't even started yet. Like, we haven't even met Rex. We haven't even True. gotten our, like, mission yet. Um, and I want to see what happens. We need to figure out a way off of this damn shipping container. It's a heist. It's a fiasco. Well, they already uh, We're going to dive into part two plummeting. right now. because They're plummeting their what? way back to the fucking planet. So they need to make sure <laughs> that they don't get crushed is what they need to figure out. That's true. That's true. It's, it's the gravity of the situation that's really working against them now. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Bad Batch Season 2 premiere. Um, they dropped two episodes on us, so we're just going to dive into the second reaction right now. Um, this reaction was edited for copyright. If you want to watch the full-length version of this, you can head over to Patreon. There's a link to the Patreon in the description of the video. Let us know in a comment below what you're thinking of the Bad Batch so far, where you think the story is going, and if you have any thoughts or predictions. Uh, thanks again, and as always, may the force be with you.